lights are on it. Okay. Trying to go natural. Hi everyone, guess who? Trinity Girl Natural, guess what? Purple here. I'm coming on to show you the adventure, show you how I got it all done, show you how I did my purple, basically. <laughs> so stay tuned. Actually, I haven't done a wash going so long, I'm almost nervous about it, especially since <laughs> I'm gonna try adding this color. I figured I might as well go big or go home, so I bought like purple. Yeah. But first, I guess, let me get to the wash and go. I'm going to be using this pomegranate and cream moisture milk. Never used it, had it for a while, as you can tell. So this is going to go in there. And I was debating about what gel to use, but I decided to go with the extreme wet line. Oh, scratch that. I guess I'm going with super wet, because that's what I picked up. But super wet is kind of like extreme wet line, but no glycerin. So just a little bit more predictable I guess so yeah I'm gonna use this pretty much cheap chamomile gel because I want to put some oil over the wax just to hopefully prevent transfer and I figure if I'm gonna put oil over it I might as well go with like a gel that needs oil over it so I'm gonna go with this okay so here I am kind of in the middle of the madness literally I did the back <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I did this different I usually just kind of put leave in by the bunk <laughs> But I have to be careful with the side part because I end up with this small section. Um, but anyway, I love the texture of this. It's kind of thick, like not super thin, which I like actually. Um, but it's not like as thin as some of the other she said the leave-ins. But it gives good moisture, slip everything. So if you're somebody looking for a kind of richer leave-in that's still light, definitely check this out. Alright, so this is the section after adding the leave-in and I'm going to add the gel. So as usual for me with these kind of plasticky gels, once I apply it, I'm going to add more water over it to help distribute it. Because for me it just goes like this and there's just no water after I apply these kind of gels. Just apply some water and then go back to it. For me. So this is it without shaking my anything. So once the gel is suitably applied, sufficiently applied, I'm going to get to putting on the wax which I guess is the star of this part of the show. <laughs> so the wax is actually kind of nice to apply. It is somewhat alarming for the more vanilla person like myself. But it has a lot of slip and it does, it's very kind of waxy which is good and bad. It feels very sealing but at the same time it doesn't feel like it'll stain at all. It feels like it'll rinse off easily. So this is it. And you basically just kind of put it on and work it through. So what I've been doing, like I put it on, work it through, then I check in the mirror to see if any spot needs some more or something like that before I seal it in with the oil. So this is a pretty small section, so hopefully you should be able to be done with the distributing pretty soon. I like how this even kind of adds a bit of slip to help me deal with the gel problems. It's not going on completely purple or anything like that. It's kind of like purple and black. So, or brown, whatever color my hair is. So, you know, so I'm not sure how it will dry, but it's not the worst either. So, I'm hopeful. And I will say a little bit goes a long way with this because I was just sure. You know, I would need more than one, but it seems like one will be enough to do my thick hair, so I like that. A little goes a long way for sure. And this is how my hand looks after, so it's not bad, it's, it's not staining at all. At least on body parts. Okay, so now I'm adding this oil, and I was going to kind of review it for you guys, but it is literally impossible to review with this much gunk on my hands and in my hair. So. Yeah, we'll be reviewing this some other time, I guess, but you can just see me use it. <laughs> I'm putting a lot, and this is way more than I would usually use for a wash and go, but like I said, I'm just hoping to prevent my pillows and stuff from being purple. So I'm hoping that the oil does that, so that's why I'm putting that much. And I will be shampooing out the color anyway, so it will all come out. Otherwise, I'm a lot more sparing with the oil. That's it. <laughs> 
that's my process that's how i'm getting my purple hair i decided like you know go big or go home like if i'm gonna be doing some kind of color i might as well go wild so that's why i'm doing purple <laughs> And while this is my first time using a wax, I will say that this wax was relatively pain free. It doesn't seem like it is stain. It rinses off your hands at least easily. It actually adds some slip. I will say it feels very waxy, so definitely put all your moisture under it because it definitely feels like it might be a sealant. But I like that it adds slip. Unfortunately, it does smell like paint. At least it smells like puff paint or those kind of ad store paints, not like industrial paint, I guess, but it still smells like paint. So if you're into the more natural stuff, you you might be just, you know, <laughs> part of you might be going like, what's happening, what are we doing, you know, when you smell this, but other than that, and other than not knowing what it's going to come out like in the end, I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy that I only had to use one of these. I bought two just in case because I didn't know like how far it would go, but this goes a long way for sure because uh, my hair is really thick and I only had to use that one. In fact, I probably won't even finish it. So that's great news. So I'll put a bit more in the pot and then I'll be shaking it down and I'll be done. Looking forward to my result. <laughs> Living on the wild side, quarantine life. Quarantine life. This is how much I have left. I do have a lot left. So I'm happy about that. different colors if I knew it would stretch so well. I'm not really, I was trying to be wild, but like it being a kind of muted color is kind of making me happy. You know, when you try to be wild, but you didn't really want to be wild, but you didn't quite go all the way wild, and you're secretly happy. That would be the look now. So you can definitely see the color. But it's at the same time, it's kind of dark, kind of black, kind of purple. So yeah, liking it. This is day four. You do have to mix it in good. Like I mix it in, but it's still kind of maybe dark like black in some places and purple in some places so you definitely get what you put in in terms of mixing it in well it has no hold so that part where she was saying kind of use it like leave it and then that like i don't know if she was supposed to put a gel over that but it has no holes for the type fours it didn't get hard or crunchy didn't dry my hair out my scalp is a little bit a little bit itchy not really itchy itchy but a little bit more aware i guess than it should be for this day <laughs> and even like the first day and stuff like my scalp isn't super sensitive but I could kind of feel it on there so if you have a super sensitive scalp I'll be careful and again like I said the ingredients definitely wouldn't be the best some colors are worse than others so yeah putting that on your scalp well not on your scalp but you know it's gonna get on your scalp on there isn't something I would do all the time but as a you know 
as an every now and then thing, it's kind of fun. So it was kind of messy, but not super messy because it stayed on your hands. It was easy to apply. Your hands got purple, anything you touched got purple, but it also rinsed easily. Almost has like a slightly, I wouldn't say oily, but kind of oily or buttery feel. But it feels like if you put like paint in a hair oil or something, basically. That's kind of mostly the texture of it. Not sure if I'm feeling well enough to <laughs> dip my fingers again. So this, I think she's actually calling it Gemini Naturals now. I'm a Gemini, so hey, but. It was pop curls when I bought it. PJ problems, I guess. Let me show you the ingredients, I guess, too, since while we're here. I did use most. I didn't use all. So I would say a little goes a long way for sure. Because <laughs> I'm working with a lot of hair and I didn't use all. So I have this bit and I have a full other one. So I'll be purple again some other time. Maybe next Black Friday if they have a good sale I might pick up some colors, I don't know. But I liked it. So I would say when it's wet, it transfers easily. And even when it's re-wet, so if you go to the gym, if it rains, expect to have transfer. But when it's dry, you don't get transfer. Can I see any? No, it's pretty much oil. So you don't really get transfer when it's dry, so that's good. What else can I say about it? <laughs> loving it. Ooh, I can get into be a little wild, a little colorful everything so yeah I'm loving it I would be willing to try it again but the titanium dioxide and manganese violet tin oxide those kind of things I really wouldn't want to put on my scalp often so yeah this smells a bit like like paint <laughs> like just like you know regular old um, art store finger paint puff paint that kind of thing so definitely has that kind of scent it doesn't smell natural or like hair products or anything it smells like paint but it's not a bad scent it is kind of strong but not bad does it feel? And I, I don't really smell it on my hair either. I would say it feels like a sealant on my hair. Not in a bad way, but I wouldn't try to put moisture over it. It did feel like if I was using like a butter or something. Not in terms of texture, but just in terms of like feel over your hair. So yeah, my hair was definitely sealed up <laughs> after I put leave-in, gel, paint, and oil. So we'll have a good shampoo session. Maybe hitting this again next week to get it off. So this is a strange review because I'm starting from the end and going back. I might as well keep going in reverse. This was a surprise nice find for me and I did check on the website and she still does have it for sale. So this is a moisture milk slash leave-in, very moisturizing leave-in. Still feels like a leave-in in terms of conditioning and kind of like smoothing and cuticle and everything. But also rich and creamy and moisturizing. So I want to say this is my new favorite leave-in from She Sent It and I would definitely repurchase it. This has a typical she scented kind of fruity candy type scent. But I really like the thickness of it and the moisture. You know, definition and slip and everything like that. I also used the oil, <laughs> but again, like it was really hard to review this oil just because it was going on on top of everything. I put it on last just to help prevent transfer and prevent dryness from the gel and everything. But I will review this again or review it <laughs> and show you guys this again in the future. Let me see if I can just touch it now and see what we will it's a very light oil, I would give it that. It's a very light oil, so if you're looking for a light oil, give it a try. Mm. It smells kind of like the mask, which is kind of minty. I, I, people probably hated me for saying avocado, but I don't know, that's what I'm getting, like a pepperminty. Maybe I don't know if it's tea tree aloe, I don't know what I'm smelling in here, but I'm smelling mint and then I'm smelling it kind of soft and somewhat, which is why I'm saying avocado. But I like the scent of this line. And it's not fruity for whoever doesn't like fruity. So I wasn't really going to show you the gel, but I'll show it to you just in case you're curious. It's super wet. And it's basically the same as like all those carbomel gels. It's a typical carbomel gel. I just pick it up because it doesn't have glycerin, which can sometimes make your life easy. So like in summer, winter and stuff, if I have to use a gel like this, I use this. Of course, the weather isn't that bad now. But I, like I said, I meant to pick up the extreme wet line and end up with this in my bathroom. And I was like, whatever. I'll use it. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you've tried these kind of hair color paint oil thingies. Can't say gel and it's not really waxy. What did you think and what colors did you try? What do you think of this purple? <laughs> Let me know down below. I just really wanted to get it to you while my hair was in still some kind of situation before my hair went too south and just show you the color and everything. So yeah, loving it. <laughs> Enjoy my week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.